Hello everyone, today we will be going over the e-resource Canopy. Canopy is great if you are a big movie buff or you love documentaries. We're going to go over the many ways you can browse, the things you can change to your account, and how to apply parental controls. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we are at the home page of Canopy. From here, you can scroll down and see the different documentaries and movies underneath their categories, so such as Trending Now. If you see a movie here or a documentary that you would like to watch, you can click Add to My List, or you can click Watch Now if you would like to watch it now. As you can see, this video is age restricted, so you'll have to click to say if you're over 18. This is great for any parents who are wanting to monitor what their children are doing. And we'll go into further instructions about parental controls later in this tutorial. You can also search for specific titles, such as Hearts Beat Loud. There it is. I can start watching this movie from this page, or I can add it to my list to watch later. I can even add this movie to a playlist. So if I wanted a playlist of feel good movies, create. I can now add this video to my feel good movies playlist. You can also see what other titles people who have watched this movie are watching, along with what people thought about this movie, and you can even share your thoughts. You can also browse by using this browse up here. If you're looking for, say, a science fiction fantasy movie, go ahead and click on science fiction fantasy. These are all the science fiction fantasy titles that Canopy has to offer us. Let's go ahead and go to our dashboard now. So from there, you can click your name should be up here and go to my dashboard. You can edit your profile from this page along with your library card. You can also go to the parental control page. From here, you can see what videos you have in your watch list, your viewing history, any comments you've made, or your playlist that you have created. If you don't like a playlist any longer, you can delete it. Delete this playlist. There you are. You'll see that there's this 20 located here in the upper right hand corner, but also when we're on our dashboard. This is how many play credits you have. Each month you have 20 play credits. That means you can check out 20 titles. For each title, you have three days to watch it as many times as you would like before it automatically returns itself. Once it has returned itself, you will have one less play credit. Play credits reset at the beginning of each month. Now, let's talk about Canopy for Kids. Click Go to Canopy for Kids. This is age appropriate titles for your younger viewer audience. Now say you only want your children to have access to Canopy for Kids. We can enable our parental controls. Click parental controls from here or as you saw at your dashboard. Click turn on your parental controls and enter in a PIN number. Our parental controls are now on. This means if your child is browsing Canopy for Kids, but they try to leave Canopy for Kids, they will not be able to unless you enter the PIN number. You can also turn off the parental controls from this page.
And there you have it. Thank you for watching this tutorial.